All right, so I am supposed to be on vacation, but I just, as I'm in St. Augustine, I stumbled upon this ice house. Apparently it's a vintage place, old place where they were making ice and selling it. And it's also a really cool bar with some really cool cocktails. So guess what? Impromptu episode of Master Your Glass. Let's get into this. This trip was not meant to be uh, one where I was going to be recording an episode. Uh, so forgive me if the sound isn't really that good. It was really impromptu, but I was tempted uh, by this opportunity to bring you some really cool content. Uh, as I was visiting St. Augustine, Florida with my buddy Armando Rosario, uh, we were just going there because it was the first settlement in America and uh, we just wanted to see a little piece of history. But we happened to drive by a place that was called the Ice, the ice Plant and it was in, the, in this historical building. Uh, so needless to say, we got a little intrigued. I mean, the ice is a, is a big part of the history of the cocktail and plays an important role in history in general. So let's figure it out. Uh, so by the way, on the way in, we realized it was a distillery too. So that's really, really cool. So what we learned is that the building where the bar area is used to be an ice plant. It was built in 1928. Uh, and yep, it was an ice factory and they made ice for the local people. They made ice for the fishermen, you know, to use on the shrimp to keep them cold. And they made ice for people afar because the plant is right next to a train uh, station or a train track where they can grab the ice and bring it to other places. But when we entered into the bar area, uh, immediately I, uh, you could tell this was a really special place. Not only because of the ambiance, but of the bar program, which was really impressive. They make really cool craft cocktails. They had six different types of ice that they use. Just a really fun ambiance and two bars uh, that are actually uh, identical to each other back to back. Uh, the cocktail menu had really many cool cocktails on there. Uh, I was impressed by the fact that really they didn't have a lot of spirits that you can recognize both on the back bar and on their cocktail menu. There was a lot of new stuff that I had never seen which I thought was really cool to learn from uh, just from their bar program. Uh, the the uh, cocktail that really uh, struck me as something I needed to taste was uh, basically called the alpaca in the walls. And this was, uh, it's insane because it has this, uh, the base spirit is Shavar, which is an agave based spirit from Ecuador. I had heard of it, but I had never tried it. Uh, and uh, tasting the Shavar was such a cool experience. Uh, such an interesting spirit. Um, the alcoholic ingredients of this cocktail were pre-batched, so I didn't really um, actually get to see the recipe, but I'll do my best to give you as close as possible what I think, uh, how I think they made it. And uh, the interesting part of this cocktail, aside from the Shavar, was that they used three different type of Amari in the same drink. And the combination of the bitter style, the medicinal style, and the pastry style of these three Amari uh, was really fascinating how they worked together. And uh, now it's time to taste the cocktail. What do you think? Right. Let's try it. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, nice. Yeah? Nice, nice that, and dry, and that's refreshing. I love that bitterness popping through. And the nice acidity. Perfect. Nice acidity and then some cloves there we go. and cinnamon baking spices. Very, very good. Well, cool. All if right. you liked this episode of Master Glass, please make sure you hit like and you subscribe and you come back for more expert instruction for everyday consumption.